already amassing a pretty decent arsenal of gear. You right, kids? It's Ross Clark. And welcome back where I am taking you on a journey of how to start out on boosted servers, but this will actually benefit any type of server really. So this is all about how to run the best drops. But before we do that, following on from the last video, we have now gone to a particular map. In this case, it's center, my favorite map actually where we're now going to fly and find a rat hole. This is your best chance of starting out and amassing as much as you possibly can. So yeah, so we're now gonna find a rat hole and center is the best for rat holes. There are many, many rat holes about and I've got one favorite in particular. Obviously, probably best not to use this one as everyone's going to see this rat hole now. But you don't need anything big, something pretty small, relatively small, that's just gonna help you stash your goods for the short space of time whilst you go out and farm everything that you can. So this one that I'm going to is centered in the middle of the floating island. And as you can see, I've just gone over the Beaver Dam spawn water pond area, and I'm heading towards this little crack here. It's a pretty cool spot, not many people know about this one. Well, you're gonna know about it now. <laughs> but, yeah, it's a favorite of mine. So once I've snuck in here, happy days, here we go, right. So this is where I'm gonna stash my goods. God knows how long this will stay around for because wild cards are on the game, on blocking gut rattles at the moment. But it's your best chance starting out, it really is. Just get hidden. And yeah, I'm just gonna build a little thing to get me started. And I don't need much, just simply a place I can put a bed down and storage. That's all I'm really going for here. But don't start building properly yet. You're not in that position. So get set and ready and you're ready to go. So yeah, reps down, all my goods that I got from Rag that from my previous video, all dropped in the, the replicator, beds down. And then I'm just tooling myself up. Little stash ready and waiting for me to amass more good stuff. So, the drop run. This is by far the best way you can farm drops. And just follow me on this journey and I will take you and show you where to go. I just thought I'd uh, quickly show you beaver dams if you're unboosted. Always check beaver dams. Usually full of good stuff because Admins like to code them in. Anyway, right, let's move on. And we're gonna to go to the south snow cave. So here it is. Here it is where the entrance is on me map. Cause you'll need to know the coordinates, won't you? Or maybe you won't, maybe you know the map well. So head in. Oh, cheeky vaults. And the drops are somewhat random but they usually end up in the same spots on a cycle and it's just one of those the more often you do this the more familiar you get to know where the drops actually are so there's usually one up here there we go yeah the only sucky thing about this cave is it just loves to freeze you at any minute so there we go. Gotta kill the little minions because they're gonna do me head in. Right, they're all taken care of and we can get a drop. Happy days. Right, so we've got that. That's the first one. There are usually three drops in this snow cave and I'll show you the other locations. This cave can get a little bit confusing at times but again, it's just one of those practice, keep working your way around. It's not a massive cave. It's quite easy to find your way around. And yet there's sometimes one here, but there isn't one here for me today. Rarely will you find a red drop in here. What's interesting is some time ago, there was, there was red drops, but 
I've rarely seen one in the last few months or so. So yeah, so you need to get your bearings, go back to the start. All right, and then take this tunnel down here. There's one lurking about here somewhere. There we go. There's the second one, which was actually not far away from the first one. Another freeze, yeah. If there's someone in this cave, at the same time, I would advise not messing up base. So the last one, you're looking for a hole in the ceiling, which is lurking about here somewhere. Come on, where are you at? Is it above? There we go, right. And there should be a drop here. Yep, there it is. Okay, that's us done with the safe snow cave. And now we're going to move out of here and head to the underworld. Underworld, it's such a cool feature that really goes under the radar. Not many people know about this place, which is really strange. This is the second part of your cave run. So fly to the, roughly the middle of the map. And then what you're looking for is a building there, that building there. There's some cords for you. That's where you need to be on the map. All right, and head straight down there. And then once you got down here, do a little flip, flippity floppity. And then you'll see a cave looking area ahead of you. There we go. And then there's gonna be a broken wall to the right. Now word of warning, for some reason, when you fly through here, the game loves to crash. <laughs> I usually blue screen here. So I try to just take my time flying through here, but I was seemingly okay. So you're just gonna take this down, just keep following it straight on, straight through the next hole. And we're going another hole through. Any holes a goal? Right, you're coming through to the ice area, bear a left. And there we go, there's another another drop. Ready and waiting. We'll take that. Thank you, please. And then just go straight ahead, keep going and you'll see another cave. Go through that and follow this one through. And you'll end up in the spidery arena. Now, I believe there used to be two drops in here, but there's one. Got that, there we go. And yeah, I believe there was two drops in here. I'm sure there was. Now obviously, yeah, this is boosted. The drops are boosted and I'm getting some insane loot, but it's still a benefit to official players because this is how you get your BPs. So it's worth doing. Okay, now I'm gonna fly back out. Now I could go back the way I came, but just to confuse you, I'm just gonna bear a left instead. And then we're gonna head out here. Head out there through this hole and then we're back just besides where we went into that hole. Now bear a left, keep following it round. Following it round, yeah. To this bridge and yeah, sometimes you'll find a drop here as well. There's not one today sadly. Which is interesting because usually you do find one there. And now we are at the infamous place called the Jumping Puzzle. It's so cool. I, I think if you've got a tech suit, it's easy mode. You just fly around with your tech on and you grab the three red drops that are lurking here. There's one. Here's another one at the back. And then there's one at the end of the jumping puzzle. But yeah, I, 
genuinely challenge you to try and do this legit. And there we go. And that's it for the underworld now. And then we're gonna head out, head back. And look, I'm, I'm already amassing a pretty decent arsenal of gear. Okay, so to get back out, all you gotta do is go back the way you came in. So bear a left, you're back in the snow area that you flew through. And just keep going up. Yep, that's it. Keep going straight on. You can't go wrong. It's as simple as this. And we're out. Ish. Watch the lag as it loads in the surface. Right, on to the last area for your drop run. And here we are, Lava Island. Great place for drops. Great place for just general drop. General drops? <laughs> drops in general because a lot of reds bizarrely land here. So it's always worth keeping your eyes peeled whilst you're here for any on the surface. But we're not here for surface drops. We are here for cave drops. Cause they're good. So, bear east. Just follow me and you can't go wrong. Okay, and then you're gonna see a cave to your left. There we go. There's some cords for you on the map. And then fly through here straight down it's always interested me when people give GPS cords I mean maybe people use them but I seem to find a map reference is so much easier so okay you've gone straight through just go straight on look for this structure and there we go there's the first red grab that now again, these drops are on rotation, so you're not gonna find them in these spots every time. But I'm gonna, again, show you the locations and where they might spawn. So you might get one through here at the back there, and no, it's not there. But that's fine, because we know where they are now. So take a route back. Now when you come out the end, you're gonna bear left. Look for this hole over here, where the lava waterfall is. And there we go, there's another drop. And then there's, there may be one down here. No, no joy. And then there's sometimes one here, no, nope, not there. So the last remaining place it can be is behind this pedestal structure thing of fire. There we go. And that's the last of your drop run. But pretty darn good, eh? You've, that's 11 drops you've just done in that run. Now, doing that a few times a day, as the drops spawn relatively quick, you'll get through those in no time. You'll amass a heck of a lot of gear pretty quickly. And that's it, just head back out and you're done. You got your drops and you're well on your way to getting your base ready. And that's it. That's my little guide to showing you how to do the best drop run on Ark. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. My name is Ross Clark. Peace out.